Good day everyone and once again we're back together so just looking at uh, circuits just a reminder of uh, you know how to deal with those uh, electric circuits so if you haven't subscribed please just make sure you're part of the family all right so let's quickly have a look at it so they say to us we've got a circuit which is connected as shown below they say the resistance r which is connected in parallel to the four ohm resistor is unknown the battery has an EMF of 15 volts and an internal resistance of 0 0.5. And they say when the switch S is closed, the voltmeter uh, reads 13.5 volts. All right, now let's quickly have a look at it. Right, so the first thing that they want us to do is calculate the reading on A. All right, so what I always like doing is to first analyze our circuit, right? So uh, in this case, remember that we always consider conventional current. So we're going to take current moving from the positive side. Of course, if our switch is closed, it's going to pass through. Okay, so the total current passes through the 3 ohm resistor until we get to this node, right? And what happens? Of course, we're going to have a current dividing, some of it going through resistor R. And, of course, some of it will go through the 4 ohm resistor. Now, the 4 ohm resistor, uh, in this case, the current that passes through the 4 ohm resistor will be the same current that passes through that emitter there, right? And, of course, when we get to this node, okay, so a node is a point that connects uh, different conductors, right? So, in this case, we know the full current Okay, the red and the green and, and the blue come together, and so we've got the total current, the yellow current. Okay, all the electrons passing through there and going back into the battery. Now, remember that we for a voltmeter we consider voltmeters to have infinite resistance, and so no current passes through those voltmeters. All right, now, okay, so let's have a, a, a quick look at how we can go about answering this question, right? So they've given us, in this case, uh, the 13.5 volts, okay, which is the external resistance. Now, remember that the moment that we've, we are going to have the switch closed, it is not going to read or the voltmeter is not going to give us the value of the EMF, but it will actually give us the external voltage, right which means now it's the voltage across all the resistors combined in the circuit and for those of you who've watched my videos on the, you know on circuits we always say that a voltage must always be paired with its corresponding resistance right so we've got v external right okay i'm going to use uh in this case so we've got v external so meaning that if we're going to use V external, which is that 13.5 volts, we must use it with its corresponding resistance, which is what? R external. So it's all the resistors in your circuit, okay? Uh, excluding the internal resistance, which is this guy over here. All right, now let's quickly talk, right? Remember, we're looking for this current here which in this case is the divided current. So let's say the current that passes there is I1 and the current that passes through there is I2, right? So now we're looking for I2 and let's say the current, that, that yellow current is our I total, right? So I'm going to actually now say, all right, let's try and find out what that total current is, right? okay and why am i doing that i've got the emf i've got the internal resistance so i'm going to say well emf is equal to v external plus v internal right i'm gonna go there because in this case i've got my emf value which is 15 volts okay all right let's not write down the unit for voltage okay v external i've got 13.5 so that will give me my internal voltage right so what do i find my internal voltage to be 15 minus 13.5 that will give me 1.5 volts right 
So now I can get the total current. Why? Because I know that my V internal, remember, voltage with its corresponding resistance, right? So I know that my internal resistance, right, my internal voltage will be used with the internal resistance, right? My internal voltage is 1.5 volts. My total current, I do not know. But what is my internal resistance in this case? We're given as 0 0.5 ohms, right? So, of course, dividing that by 0 0.5, what do we get? We're going to get our total current to be 3 amperes, right? Now, remember, in this case, that is not the total uh, we're not looking for the total current rather we are looking for i2 which is part in this case of the total current all right it's only the current that passes through the four ohm resistor okay right now let's now look at how we can do that you know there's a method that we can use but in this case uh, it just needs a lot of gymnastics right so what I'm going to do is say, look, is there a way in which I can find out the voltage across that resistor there, right? Now, remember, for resistors in parallel, it means that the voltage across those resistors will be equal, right? So the voltage across resistor R is the same voltage across uh, the 4 ohm resistor they are in parallel so it means that voltage is the same right so now okay we can get the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor right so voltage across the 3 ohm resistor we know it's the total current passing through there right and um, multiplied by that resistance there so it's going to be uh, a 3 or rather yes that's 3 which is our total current okay let's write that nicely so total current multiplied by the resistance which is the three ohm resistor that gives us nine volts now remember that with resistors in uh, you know in series so it means that if i'm looking at the voltage remember we we're given that 13.5 to be our external so the external voltage will be equal to, in this case, the voltage across this 13 ohm resistor, right? Okay, so it will be the voltage across this guy plus the voltage across this parallel combination. Remember, we did say that it is that voltage is the same, right? So uh, in this case, I'm going to just simply say, right? So it means that the voltage across the 4 ohm Okay, let me write it over here. So the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor, in fact, let me just say the voltage across the parallel combination will be equal to the external voltage minus the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor. Okay, so meaning the voltage in parallel, right? As I did say, the voltage across these resistors plus the voltage across the 3 will give us uh, uh, the voltage across uh, the external voltage so i'm looking for a parallel voltage in this case which will be 13.5 minus that 9 volts okay so uh, in this case that will give me 4.5 volts okay right i hope that makes sense ladies and gents of course i know this is quite involving all right um, in this case, so we are looking for the current across that resistor. So very easy now because we know the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor, right? And in this case, which means the voltage, okay, I'm just trying to remove these things. So which means the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor is now found to be 4.5 volts. Okay, so we can find out what that current is that is passing through that resistor. Okay, I'm going to just write it on the other side 
So the current I2, you remember we called it I2, right? Is going to be V parallel, okay? That voltage across that parallel combination divided by R. And so that will be 4.5 divided by 4. And in this case, I'm just going to try and use my calculator 4.5 divided by 4 okay and so that current will be 1.125 right if you want to of course you can round it off okay that will give you a 1.13 okay but in this case of course i do want to leave it as that value so that we are as accurate as possible all right now that we know the current there the next question, which should be now easier for us to answer, right? Uh, they are asking us, what is the resistor R? Okay. Now, remember, in parallel, we said voltage is the same. So, we definitely know the voltage across this guy. Okay. What is that voltage? It is 4.5 volts, right? Now, what should be the current I1 that is passing through that resistor? Now, remember the total was 3 amperes, and we found out that the current passing through the 4 ohm resistor is 1.125. So, to get the current there, so I2 will be equal to I total minus I1, okay? Uh, right, uh, yeah, I think I had called... Uh, actually, we're looking for I1, which is the current through the resistor R. Okay, so it's the total minus I2. So the current there, 3 amperes minus 1.125. Okay, right. And of course, uh, we're going to find that. That's 3 minus 1.125. And we get 1.87 five okay so the current there is 1.875 amperes right so that's 1.875 amperes now okay so i'm gonna try right i was just trying to answer this over here earlier on right now to get the resistor r quite simple for us because r is equal to v over i but remember voltage with its corresponding resistance, right? So what is our voltage value? That's going to be, um, uh, you know, the voltage 4.5. And our current value, 1.875. And what do we get? Okay, again, our calculator, that's 4.5 divided by 1.875. And I get a value of 2.4 ohms. So that resistor R there, okay, should be equal to 2.4 ohms. Of course, if you had rounded this off uh, to 1.88, you know, you should get a value that's approximately around there, okay? Uh, but it shouldn't be really that much more different, okay? Right, and uh, that is how the cookie crumbles on this question. I hope that you were able to enjoy it. Otherwise, uh, ladies and gents, from me for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.